They say it's one of the best parties in town. Washington Mardi Gras brings the pageantry and revelry of Bourbon Street right here to the nation's capital. It's a three-day affair, complete with cocktail parties, a pageant, even an indoor parade. The Louisiana delegation is heavily involved, and they help put the bill to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The money comes from lawmakers' leadership political action committees. First allowed 40 years ago, leadership PACs provided a way for elected officials to raise money and dole it out to other like-minded politicians and candidates. That was then. This is now. The rules on the books say that leadership PAC money can be spent for almost anything. Over the past two years, Senator Bill Cassidy spent a total of more than $100,000 on the yearly party for catering and event space at the Washington Hilton and for tickets from the Mystic Crew, which puts on the events. Over the same period, Representative Steve Scalise used his leadership pack to spend nearly $40,000 at the Hilton and more than $53,000 on tickets. Congressman Ralph Abraham, Clay Higgins, Cedric Richmond, and Senator John Kennedy also used their leadership pack money to support Washington Mardi Gras. All told, members of the Louisiana delegation spent more than a quarter million dollars on the 2017 and 2018 events. It's held here at the Washington Hilton. It's one of the premier venue spaces in the city. Scores of Louisianans travel to D.C. for the celebration. There are meetings and mingling. Some lawmakers even host fundraisers. But critics say leadership PACs have strayed from their original intent. Just one more thing that makes people feel that politicians are disconnected from their constituents. Ellen Weintraub is vice chair of the Federal Election Commission. She has spent years trying to rein in spending by leadership PACs. I don't think their intent is to subsidize the lifestyle of the people who are receiving the money. But that's exactly what Michael Beckel with Issue 1 says lawmakers across the country are doing. They are collecting money from the special interest groups that have business before their committees and donors who have already maxed out to their campaigns. Beckel's organization conducted a nationwide study that found lawmakers used that money to pay for things like luxury resorts, golf memberships, fine dining, and big parties. If you've got additional pots of money that a special interest or wealthy donor knows that they can give to to curry favor, that's one more potential avenue uh, for corruption in the process. Louisiana lawmakers say that's nonsense. They contend Washington Mardi Gras promotes the state. During the events, they meet with other officials and constituents, hearing the needs and concerns of people in Louisiana. But no one from the Louisiana delegation was willing to defend their support for Washington Mardi Gras on camera. As long as you have transparency. Former FEC so Commissioner Hans von Spakovsky, now with the Conservative Heritage Foundation, own. defends leadership PACs. He says they are an expression of political free speech and there's nothing secret about their spending. I think all the critics of this show that they really don't trust the American people to make their own decisions on the candidates that they want to vote for. Beckel and Weintraub say leadership PACs need more regulation, but Weintraub can't muster the votes on the FEC to limit their spending. I could write a scathing statement about it, but I couldn't actually punish anybody. Change would likely require new laws passed by the very people taking advantage of the status quo. <laughs> Members of Congress. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.